without being too unkind to the ten fillies declared for this afternoon's Arkle Finance Cheshire Oaks, 2.25 p.m., we are extremely unlikely to see one half as good as last year's winner. John Gosden Zenable landed this prize 12 months ago before going on to win the Epsom equivalent, the King George and the Ark in a truly stunning campaign. It would be remarkable enough if one of these fillies could win any of those three contests, let alone all three. Gosden and Dottori are represented again in the race, this time with award-winning who won nicely at Weatherby last month. The fact that she doesn't even hold an Investec Oaks entry tells you she may not even be above average and she needs to step up to take a hand here. Aidan O'Brien has won this listed prize five times over the last ten years and saddles three in his attempt to land number six. Jockey bookings imply that Magic Wand is the stable's first string as she is the Mount Orion Moore. She has yet to win in two starts to date but expect her to leave her third place finish at Leopardstown last month well behind. There is no doubting that she has the profile of a real improver, but she is favorite purely based on her connections and has to improve massively on what she has achieved to date. Stable mate dramatically was well beaten behind soliloquy at Newmarket last time but will probably be seen in a better light over this trip. However, the one I like the look of is Ralph Beckett's kinesthesia at nine halves with Ladbrokes. We only saw her the once last season when she won her Nottingham Maiden, but she won in eye-catching fashion and looks an exciting prospect. There isn't a trainer saddling a runner today at Chester in better form than Beckett and this looks the ideal starting point for her on her way to Epsom. Beckett has proved himself a fantastic trainer of fillies, having already won the Epsom equivalent on two occasions with look here and talent. I'm not saying that kinesthesia is in their class, but she looks a filly with a bright future and is undoubtedly in the best possible hands. Irish Raider Princess Yiza is certainly worth a mention, as her shred trainer Gavin Cromwell wouldn't be traveling her over for the fun of it. She won well twice at Dundalk before Christmas, but has struggled since being upped in class and is plenty short enough in the market all things being considered. The draw is all important at Chester for the Boodles Diamond Handicap, 3 p.m., where my fancy looks a million has bagged the ideal spot in stall one. Form figures of 59,360 hardly inspire confidence in the three-year-old, but they don't paint a true picture. Joseph Toots runner has been plying her trade at a much higher level and was hampered last time. She ran in some hot races last term, including when third and fifth respectively in listed contests at Chantilly and Newbury. With her stable in decent form, she looks worthy of support from an ideal draw at 8-1 with Coral. Obviously, the likes of Formidable Kit and Spoof are huge dangers, but I'm hoping Looks a Million can stay out of trouble from the front. Looks a Million EW 3 p.m. Chester. City AM's opinion pages are a place for thought-provoking views and debate. These views are not necessarily shared by City AM.